I'm feeling electrified. I hope my camera keeps working. This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I let you make up your mind. This time, an electrifying story, or not, as we study streetlight interference phenomena. You're coming home from a party, when suddenly the streetlights go out above you and you're in the dark. Frightening experience, no doubt. But what if it happens regularly? And what if other stuff keeps happening when you're around? Appliances like TVs and radios going on and off at will. Volume of said appliances going up or down. Appliances breaking down at an alarming rate. And credit cards or other magnetically encoded cards being damaged or erased you might suffer from a condition known as streetlight interference syndrome. What? This is an existing disease? Well, uh, let's find out. The late Hilary Evans, writer and researcher, spent a good part of his life studying this phenomenon. He called it SLI or streetlight interference. He even called his subjects Sliders! And he wasn't talking about sliding through parallel roads neither. From New Haven in England, Debbie Wolf is a classic case of SLI. The 30 year old electrical powers have gained her international fame, and in Japan, they compare her with manga characters. She's a cartoon! According to herself, it is never on full whammy, but it happens frequently, usually when she's stressed, feeling excited or frisky, but never when she's annoyed. Debbie's mother was aware of her powers, never taking her to electrical stores and not touching her when she turned on a light. A loving relationship. Platonic, but loving. She often comes home with the freezer defrosted, uses an analog alarm clock as digital ones scramble as she wakes up, lamps near the houses she occupied were always faulty, and she drains batteries in remote controls. Get her away from my camera! Now! The curiousness of this case is that she gets it when she feels, um, well, um, <clears throat> horny. Once, whilst driving with a partner on his motorcycle, she started feeling it and streetlights started going on and off as they passed. She also claimed to have seen a blue jolt of lightning travel from her foot to someone she was lusting for in a bar and she startled more than a few partners in the bedroom as it is literally lights out when she's aroused. Well, that's actually convenient when the lights go out, you know she's falling for you. Of course, this could all be a hoax. Lies by people who want attention or financial gain. Or maybe deluded minds of people that seek meaning behind a string of coincidences. In some cases, biased witnesses can be fooled by the power of suggestion. I suggest you like this fit, subscribe to my channel and watch all my uploads. Yeah, like that'll help. <clears throat> Mario Bonomo, professor of illuminating engineering at the University of Milan, illuminates us by stating that the streetlights all over the world are usually of the gas discharge type that use sodium 
either with low or high pressure. They usually take 3 minutes to light up and have a lifespan of about 8000 hours, approximately 2 years. At the end they exhibit characteristics that could explain SLI. This however completely ignores the interaction with other appliances and the fact that in recent times the lamps have been replaced by different types. Blink on, blink off, blink on, blink off. A good thing they didn't use this in the karate kit. What all the stories have in common is that SLI happens when its sufferers are in an emotional state. Stressed, angry or sad for instance. Could it be that some people build up an electrical field inside their body that interacts with appliances? Scientists however say that the only electrical energy people can produce is static electricity produced by rubbing synthetic clothes, which is certainly not powerful enough to affect a street lamp high above. Dzzz. They can say what they want, I still feel the effects. Scientists have never been able to confirm that people can cause physical effects on objects at a distance, let alone streetlights or electrical appliances. Yet that is exactly what seems to be happening. Research that the subconscious may in fact be able to affect electronic devices is being done at the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab. Moreover, Dr. Richard Wiseman at the University of Berkshire in England is involved in the project trying to collect data on ESP abilities with his kiosk-like mind machine. I'm trying to use the zoom on my camera. Is it working? So hoax, delusion, or magic, I mean uh, ESP, you decide. Did you like the video? Click the like button. Leave comments or start a discussion in the comment box. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a vlog channel, so if you want to get bored, why don't you check it out? And you can follow me on social media, all links in the description. See you next time!